Hey guys, today I'm going to explain all that goes on in an aircraft engine when the pilot hits that start button. Today we have a Pratt & Whitney 4000 in front of us as our example. For an aircraft engine to start working, we need to start rotating one of the shafts. And generally, we choose to rotate the high pressure shaft. Reason being that it has a very small weight as compared to the other shaft and thus easier to rotate. So how do we start rotating the high pressure shaft? As you see here from our example, for us to start rotating the shaft, in each casing of an aircraft engine, there generally is placed an, a, a, a little turbine. A little turbine which is connected to this to this little shaft here you see here the shaft the shaft has been on this diagram the shaft has been has been cut so the turbine which is placed outside the casing of the engine is connected to this little shaft in that little turbine turbine compressed air is forced through the blades of that turbine thus rotating the turbine and the turbine is connected to this shaft with the aid of a with the aid of gear a gear transmission basically so when the turbine start rotating the shaft to start rotating and you see with the aid of all these transmissions all these are gear transmissions all these are gear transmission we see the all these circle areas are gear transmissions with the aid of those gear transmission moment is transmitted to this shaft this high pressure shaft thus rotating this high pressure shaft so all this you see here all this comp comprises of the um, high pressure shaft so when this high pressure shaft start rotating it absorbs air and this air passes through the low pressure the low pressure shaft let's say the low yeah the low pressure shaft and blades are placed are placed in such a way that when air hits the blade it creates it creates a force and that force start rotating the shaft i won't go very detailed on how the force is transmitted to the logs and the lo um, then transmitted to the disc so just know that when air hits this turbine the turbine start rotating so initially the low pressure sta shaft start rotating very slowly and the amount of air that passes through the combustion chamber here we have the combustion chamber the amount of air that passes through the combustion chamber is very small but when it is when it is ignited it goes out at a very high speed and when the speed hits this blade same happen that is force is transmitted to the digs and all that that rotates the shaft just know that when air goes through this blade it spins the shaft it increases the angular velocity of the shaft and also the air that hits and this this blades this highlighted blades are the blades of the low pressure shaft and the air continues its path when it hits the low pressure shaft at a very high speed it also increases the angular velocity of the low pressure shaft when a low does when the angular velocity of the low pressure shaft is increased the compressor tends to absorb more air and the process repeats itself now at the second cycle the first cycle a little amount of air will pass through the, um, the combustion chamber at the second cycle of absorption the angular velocity of the shaft has already increased so the amount of air passing through the combustion chamber will definitely increase so today i just showed you how how the mechanism involved in order um, for an aircraft engine to start working fully so on my next video, I'm going to show you the same thing, but only on a real aircraft engine. And before I forget, you see, there comes a time when the engine is working. When the engine starts working, there comes a time when the high pressure shaft, the angular velocity of the high pressure shaft is faster than that, than this. That is, the angular velocity of the uh, high pressure shaft is faster than this, this shaft, this one highlighted here. So... This complex system you see up here, if you look at my mouse, you see this complex system 
is made in such a way that when that happens, um, this this um, this little shaft highlighted is disconnected from the from the shaft of the high pressure compressor because when the angular velocity of this is very fast this and uh, this when the angular velocity of this this high pressure compressor is very fast this begins to add as a dead weight trying to slow down the velocity so it is disconnected with the aid of couplings so you can see it here but it's disconnected with the aid of couplings so generally uh, that's all for today so if you have any question you can comment if you do not understand something you can comment i'll try to answer it and on my next video i'll show you how an aircraft engine starts but on on a real aircraft engine thank you don't forget to like your video and subscribe